What's up, guys? Craig here with uh, a new coming soon. Uh, Dot Age. It's a game that I've been looking at a little bit. Uh, it's kind of a roguelike city builder from the what I've seen. Uh, more so, it looks like uh, Man Yells at Cloud Simulator, but, you know, we'll see. Let's play. It's currently in uh, a demo, I think an open beta on uh, Steam. Welcome to the demo. Welcome to Dot Age. This is a short demo that gives you a taste of the game. Beware, the content is not final. Enjoy. Yeah. Alrighty, so this is the old man. He yells at clouds. His traits are grumpy. Okay. We'll set it on normal for now. Uh, name is Mattis. Let me tell you the story of how uh, your life got flipped right upside down. Okay. Uh, I was born. Okay. Yeah. Practice indeed. No, oh, he speaks Frank as well. Everyone speaks Frank. All will be Frank in the end. That's a wabbit. Alrighty. So we are in the game now. Let's see. I've not seen any like gameplay from this yet. I've just seen kind of the the trailers that the creators put out on Twitter. They all look fun. Let's see. Convince a few pips to follow me into the valley. That's it. This is the place I told you about. We must stay here. You'd better not be lying about this new life, Mattis. Impudence, follow my lead, and everything will be alright. Now I'll get to work. We started working right away to build our village. Okay. Alright, so it's the first time. What's that? Uh, I think this is the first time I'm telling you the story, isn't it? Yes, it is. You better pay attention, as I won't be repeating it twice. Anytime you can click on the on this button to skip the scene. What button? Okay. I can click on some button to skip. You can use the arrow keys to pan the screen, or hold right-click to move the view around. I can zoom with scroll. The tent was our village center. Define the existence of our village. Place it on available tile close to the berry bushes. Okay. So you want it close, close to the... Ah, he follows. We're going up here, old man. Uh, Close to berry bushes. I think this will probably be best. Somewhere close to water and the bushes. Actually, right here. Uh, let's put it here. I think this will have... I, I don't know how the game the gameplay loop is, so I'm guessing just from, like, a standpoint of us being attacked, this seems to offer a good amount of shelter. It's only these two ways in. Uh, yeah, only these two ways in, which can be set for this whole area. Uh, but it does give us access to these trees, the rocks, and the berries. So I think right here is going to be good. Okay. Pips and how dwellings as this. Hover over the dwelling to see that it is already full of pips. That has three. Okay. Pips, yes, my fellow villagers, I used to tell them what to do each day. Uh -huh. Reverse sending a pip to get some food. Design a pip to the building structure. Plant. Click on the tile. Okay. Pip to follow my wise advice for that question. These pips now working. You can click on tile again to move the pip. So I can do that or get rid of you. Okay. Let's go ahead and send people to all of them. I've got those three. 
Hover over building, see what it will produce in the top right. Uh, okay. So you'll rep produce pips. Okay, we found some berry, some bushes full of berries that they would suffice. Our first day. Okay. Bunch of limited resources. That'll be shown there. So you have uh, 10, I think. 10 to 3. I'm guessing this is the resources. Yeah, top left shows the resources. Uh, how many are left? Yeah. And then that turns into three berries for each. Okay. That's good. Collect your resources. All right. One food for each pip was needed every day. Available food is assigned automatically. All righty. So we have 20 for right now. And these are our pip types. We have the green pip, the yellow pip, and the red pip. Available for work, working, and cannot work. Okay. And this is the day. We're not satisfied with the daily assignments. We got to work right away past the turn. Okay, so it's turn based as well. Interesting. So when we're happy with all of the assignment, we just pass the turn, we harvest what we need, everyone goes to bed, and then we go to the next day. Similar to Hero's Hour. Okay. There was one more to it, or there was more to it, I recall. My memories. A puzzle piece. With old age, I tend to get a bit forgetful. As I tell you, our stories, our old memories will resurface. So look out for those. All right. You can now build structures. All right, so I'm guessing his memories are the how we unlock and be able to build more things. Okay. An interesting concept. Any pip that has a skill set or skills to build a building. After you choose the building, they'll be able to place. Alrighty. I decided that we needed a, th a thinker's post to help the pips come up with new ideas. Click on it. Okay. Does it need to be near anything? Each building has a different cost to build. For this one, it took one day and a couple of wood. Uh, we have a couple of wood. Cool. Nearby nothing. Okay. Very good. And... I don't necessarily want to wall ourselves in, I don't think, but I think right here will be fine. Oh, I have to follow the tutorial. Well, um, well, that's kind of uh, an issue. I can't. All right, whatever. I was trying to tell me something, but it was under the thing, and I couldn't move it. That's fine. Game is in beta. It's fine. Uh, buildings off us also have special requirements called traits. This building cannot be placed immediately next to another building. Oh, it's its thing is nearby nothing. Okay. Fair enough. Decided to place it. Uh, and I decided where to place it. Gotcha. I can words. Place it. If a pip is free, it will be assigned to the building. Remember to assign the pip before passing Excuse me, the turn. Okay. So again, I think right there is going to be fine. What's next to that? Uh, you. You come build. Okay. It took the pip a few days to build. Hover over the building to see how many turns are left. I'm guessing one. Okay. Buildings can be different types. Some of them could be built only on specific terrain, while others can change uh, production based on the surroundings. That's good. You want to know how I mastered the placement of the buildings? Well, I collected wisdom. All right, so I'm guessing wisdom is our talent tree. All right, 
My Agentpedia contains information about buildings, resources, and much more. Be sure to check it often. It's a lot of stuff down here. If you forget about something, just ask. I will gladly tell you about it. When you see a small question icon in the cursor, you can click it to access the Agentpedia page for it. Alrighty. Most content not in demo. This is everything we have so far. Fish! Hair. Okay. Uh, that is a whole big thing of things. So we're good there. Don't want to build anything else. I don't think we I don't know if we benefit from having more than one of those. A shack. Gonna let me do that. It will. Wood collector, collect nearby wood. So we have enough berries to not really need to worry about harvesting tonight. So I'm going to go ahead and just get those built because we can. And I think that's everything. So that gets built. That gets built. And that goes down to one day. That's good. Everyone gets their berries. And we have a memory retrieved. Pips came to these lands with little knowledge, but they can be very brilliant if they take their time. Some buildings can produce science. We can do a science. Uh, which is used to advance your research. By gathering science, you'll be able to discover new buildings. Okay, so new science is probably the talent tree. Or maybe the game doesn't have one. I don't know. Some pips were obsessed with science. A special resource we could use to discover new buildings. Alrighty. Keep a tally of what knowledge. Alright, so E... Yeah, okay. Uh... Where is it? Tell me how much I have. Oh, hello. You just went on your own. I can't recall them right now, but I'm sure we had a lot of different ideas. Alright, so this is where we... I guess I can get this? Can I? How do I? Is there a way that I can... Um, okay. Maybe I unlocked it already? No, it doesn't look like it. I Oh, I don't have the research. Uh, okay, so you can do that. You can harvest that. We have enough berries to sustain everyone, so we're good there. Okay. I think we're good. I almost want to build a second one of these. And no, you you go there. You're fine. You go here. Okay. Maybe we can get our research up as quick as possible. I think that will be best. Burning through tech trees. That's the way. Always get your plus one plus one because you'll die without it. Procreation. Pips can make babies. Sending two pips into a building with some surplus of food. They'll spend the next night together making a new baby. Any two free pips will do, regardless of their appearance. Pips can be very proficient. Or prolific. That was the word. Alright. Took a little time to realize that we need more pips. I was too old. My fellow pips were healthy and prolific. It was time to have the talk. Yep, it's pretty simple. When a, a mommy and a daddy love a building very much, they go and hide in it for a night. And then suddenly there's more. At the end. Anyway, you need at least two free pips for this work. Uh, free some pips. Uh... Sure. I'll let you work on the sciences. Oh, 
anything. Need two pips free. Okay. There we go. That works. A little bit confusing there for a second, but that's fine. Uh, we'll need the extra food. That's fine. We'll have that. Two pips would then spend the next day making the baby. Hoped everything is clear. I won't explain it again. And you're going to research. Uh, we should be good on... I don't necessarily need wood quite yet, so probably will. But we'll go ahead and do this. child is born, it'll take a few turns before it can become an adult. Children are not strong enough nor disciplined enough to work, so they will play around their home all day. Remember to feed them too, however, as they eat just like an adult. This one's sleeping. Uh, how long do they take to grow, or does it say? Well, for the time being, you go here, and you go here. And that'll get us plus two and enough berries. Uh, it's growing up. Does it say? Does it say how long you take to grow? I didn't. There's a th was a three on you, so maybe it's three days. Let's see. That should be everything for today. All right, we have the research to get our harvest or forager. Yeah, we let the children sleep out in their own building. Alright, we've got that. Oh, okay, I see how the research works now. I select what I want to research, and then that's where the research goes towards. Got it. Okay, I understand. Um, game's a little loud. Let me turn that down just a bit. Uh, audio, master volume, turn you down to like five. Reply. Five percent second? Yeah. Okay. Uh, now... On you, can I? Believe the researcher. Okay, that's fine. Can I? Uh, I don't have a way to like select you. No, I don't want to demolish. What do you do? Terrain details now. I can't mouse over him or interact with him at all. Pip recap. Okay. Okay. I don't know if you have quirks or alignments or anything yet. Grow up three. Maybe afflicted by zero element for one more turn. Okay. All right. So maybe he becomes an adult tomorrow then, because that's this is their age, I guess. Interesting. All right, so let's go ahead and set up for another research for now. Uh, a crude well boosts water events. Heals burning with water. A uh, seed picker. And a berry shrub. All seasons but winter. Okay, so I guess we're going to need a surplus for winter. That'll be fun. Um, for now, though. Forager needs to be nearby woods. I can put it here. Okay, that worked for me. Uh, won't worry about you just yet. Let's get this. I assume water is probably going to be important. So let's go start researching water. And you, again, we need you to get berries. I'm not super worried about that yet. If this gets low, we'll just throw people on everything for a day. Which is probably going to be bad. Alright, so do you grow up this turn? You 
You say you know, yeah. Exactly. Alright, and you are still a child. Your age is three. Afflict afflicted by the zero element for one more turn. Hmm. Maybe it doesn't need one more turn. Okay, I don't know. Yeah. That's weird. Oh, hey, here's my, uh... I'm in spring, okay. 34 days to the next season. So this will make two. I think we want to kind of expand. That seems like that's going to be something we're going to want to do. Let's go put you there. You go build. Hmm. Oh, we're out of wood. Okay, and I need to get wood now. You need wood to build that. So let's do that thing. Because you're not going to be able to build this without wood. Hey, look, an adult. Okay, so you do need three. Um, hmm. I guess we'll get a fishy thing here soon. You seem agitated. It's okay, old men will yell at clouds for you. You are now entertained. So this will get two berries. Let's see, will this be enough? No, it's going to make one. What are you going to require? The shack. Well, we already gave it the three wood, so it's probably good now. Oh, God. My headset fell off. Ah! It took my hair with it. There we go. I'm back. Uh, I think we're good here. Let's just go to the next day. Okay, yeah, good. The wood was fine. All right, so we're starting to get low on berries, so I think we want to go ahead and start managing that resource a little bit more. Um, you're going to stay there. For you. All right. That'll give us a good amount. And then we'll have this unlocked. Nom, 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 nom. Meow. Crude well. And growth. New research section available. Some terrains may have special properties that can affect the building's output. Buildings that take advantage of that terrain is built on top of it will have an increased production output. Right, that's good. cock a doodle doodle uh, Though I don't think I... Oh, there's a puddle there. That would be good. Does this count as being near water? Or is it one placed on water, so it wants to be on that? Um... Let's start getting some wood. Put one of those there. You go up here. I uh, don't want to research anything yet. Ooh, plowed soil. That's good. Let's try that and just see if that's a possible thing that I can just get. Oh, hey, look. I have growth trees. Uh, a fishing post. Well, these are probably what I want to start getting next. Ah, locked in the demo. Okay, and that's locked in the demo. Not in the demo and locked in the demo. Okay. 
So let's look, this is as far down as we're going to be able to go. All right, so far it looks like a, a fun little interesting game. Let's see. Yeah, wood, you'll build that. You'll get berries so we can maintain for right now. Yeah, and then your research. Because, yeah, we, I think we need to make buildings to branch out. Well, it's another wood collector. Yeah. All right. Uh, we'll go ahead and build a house so we can expand out a bit. It looks like the houses are what's going to let us expand. Not enough resources. Okay. That's fair. We're losing one berry overall each day. That's fine. We're going to need to start making more pips eventually. Um, but yeah, that does that is going to lead to some issues with getting uh, resources. It's a balance. Yeah. Day. Now we have enough wood to go and do this. And since we do, let's go ahead and get berries. Actually, let's collect a good amount of berries for right now. We can go ahead and get uh, like use up all these berries, I think. I don't think that would cause any problems right now. Probably will, but who knows? And I think once this is built, we'll make uh, try to make two more pips. Hello, old man. Oh, God. Flashy eyes. Don't do that. That was terrible. Hey, look, it's raining blood. An apocalyptic vision. Yeah, you don't say. Jesus Christ. The apocalyptic vision. I remember it vividly. Fate. Our village is cursed. Plenty of events with unforeseen consequences may appear. When you pass your turn, oh, yeah. Between each day and the next, events can be anything from a shift in the wind to the creation of a new bond, the symptoms of the new illness, or just good old earthquake. Yep, good old earthquake. Most events have adverse effects, so pray you are lucky. However, my visions are imperfect. I can only predict the nature of an event and the day it will appear on. The rest is up to you. Well, that's useful. So what is the nature of the event? Vision came to me. I saw the future. The world is doomed. The apocalypse is coming. Yes, go ahead and tell us about your prophecy. So on day 45, looks like, ish, an omen. According to what I see, we will endure many trials in the near future. I wrote down all of my vision for the first danger light ahead. Carefully noted all of the years. This is the current day. And the doom event awaits in a few months. We must prepare for it. Okay. So we get to doom on this day. Yay! That's always fun. Uh, what happens here, though? For seeing omen, you know that this domain's threat will be afflicted. Nothing can be done about it. It will be tied to despair domain. Well, that's lovely of it. Despair domain looms. Alright. Oh, and those little things that was floating around in the beginning. 
Uh, mysterious domains govern the life of the pips, determining what each events will appear, when and why. Each domain has its own rules. Make sure you learn the differences. Everyone's going to get really sad. Defeats on inner struggle. Okay. Place buildings that increase the hope of the villager. Your pips happiness and entertained to fight despair events. Oh. Okay. So I need to make them happy so they don't despair. Okay. So, what do we do to make things happy? Hmm. Alright, we're going to let you have your berry things here. But, so far I'm not seeing anything to make uh, anything happy or entertained. Hmm. And it looks like I have... Is that six days? You cannot prevent this event. Well then. Yeah. We can at least make more babies for the event. Something we can do, right? Two pips, yeah, uh, two pips. Meh. Meh. You do the thing. There we go. All right, so that'll get us more pips to use. So I think it's going to be useful. You mix the baby. Why are you both flipping the baby off? Use also makes the baby. You're also both flipping the baby off. Don't do that. Alright, so we got those for three days. Alright, so what do we want to do now? Let's get berries, just because we're going to need them. You go there, but I need wood. That works. We'll do that. And that will let us build you. That's good. Alright, so we're plus nine, minus six, minus two. I'm still not seeing anything to make things happy. Oh, cool, I can see there. Alright, that's good. Um, so, can we not do anything about that, or... Services, that's Thinker's Plot. Doesn't seem like we can actually do anything about it. Hunting. What's hunting? What? Alright, so now that lets us hunt. Alright, I think we're just going to do that. I think that for two days is probably good. Unless he gives us any insight on how to increase the happiness. Yeah. And now we have water. Or we have the ability to get water. So despair cometh. And y'all can work now.
All right, you're going to collect water. We are good on food, so I want to grab you there. And have you start working on getting wood. All right, and it's time for despair day. I didn't find any way of actually getting happiness up, so I don't quite know what we want to do there. Because we have a 50-50 chance. It says 50%. A crow. A crow sighting. Oh, God. Fear threat increases permanently by one. All right. Witnessed a crow sighting. All right, so that's all it was. That seems fine. Berry shrubs now, and planting! Now we can plant things. Hips work a bit differently than buildings after they are planted by... Oh, plants work a bit differently, yeah. After they're planted, they will grow without further help until they are ripe. When a plant is ready for harvest, you can send pips to gather its fruit. However, they will deplete after a few uses and must be replanted. Yeah. As they do. So... Follow the tutorial, okay. Yeah, I'm following the tutorial. Yeah, it's whatever you're saying for you. Some buildings will help against upcoming events. These buildings produce protections against the given domain. This just needs to go away so I can actually read things. Oh, there we go. Got it. Uh, remember, we have a special building. Ah, there we go. Community. Yeah, let's start with that. A meeting point. Okay, so these offer us the ability to make things happier. That's good. All right, so we got four. Uh, we're net neutral on getting food, so we're good there. I think we're going to want to start making a surplus because we don't want to get into winter with nothing, but we've, I think we've got plenty of time to do that. Let's see. All in all, though, I think we've got a good start here. All right, guys, if you found that entertaining, you're going to love what comes next. Be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future content. And as always, if you have any games that you absolutely love and like to see me check out, go ahead and post those down in the comments below. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.